Hello, and greetings from Rutgers. James Abello and I, Daniel Nakamovich, would like to present to you graph waves. Previous work proposes a decomposition algorithm that partitions a graph into sets of edges called fixed points of degree peeling. These fixed points are visually represented as layers in order to break a large graph into meaningful and manageable chunks. To deal with large fixed points, we propose a new decomposition into graph waves and fragments. Waves are constructed from a sequence of fragments in the following way. Given a fixed point with minimum degree k, we take the vertices of degree k as an initial seat set. In the example on the left, we have a fixed point of minimum degree 2, and the initial seat set is S1, circled here. The edges with at least one vertex in the seat set are labeled as the first fragment and removed. Here, that would be the blue edges. Once removed, the degree of the fragment vertices that were not in the seat set are updated, and those with degree less than k are selected as the next seat set, S2 in this example. Again, we label the edges going out of the seat set as the next fragment, remove them, and update the degrees of the affected vertices. We repeat the process until there are no remaining vertices or the remaining vertices have degree equal to k. All the edges removed so far are labeled as the first wave. We start again with a seat set of degree equal to k and repeat the process until the fixed point is empty. In the left example, the blue and green edge fragments make up the first wave of a fixed point of minimum degree 2, and the red edge fragment makes up the second wave. The picture on the right shows a collection of 19 fragments colored blue to red from a wave in the Friendster social network. Using the wave decomposition, we can represent fixed points as wave buildings. Our current work includes designing a new method of global graph navigation by visualizing a unified space of fixed points represented through wave buildings. Thank you for watching this presentation. I'd like to thank my colleagues for helping to implement various aspects of our system and the NSF for supporting this project.